to transfer your portrait to your grid, you're going to work one box at a time across your page. <clears throat> it's gonna be important that you do it lightly because you're using colored pencil and you're not gonna want your lines to show through that because we're gonna come in and we're gonna erase once we get it all set up. So we're gonna be working with a contour line. We're gonna basically just outline the portrait, outline the hair, the clothing, jackets, uh, whatever it is that you have on there, we're gonna be outlining those with pencil. And we're gonna leave these open spaces that, that we're gonna then create values here where we're gonna be adding these numbers and they're gonna to correspond to your planning your colorful value scale page. So these are the colors that you're gonna be using on your portrait and we're gonna be in the next step doing our values with our numbers. I work left to right like I read and I start at the top. Each one of these boxes connect to the other one. It's like a puzzle piece. So it's important that you realize that you're not just gonna start in the middle. You're not gonna jump around. You need to work from box to box, whether you work across a row or you start on a box and then you work at the one underneath it because that's gonna keep your proportions and keep your balance for your work. We're not enlarging, we're learning to work with our grid. So it's just about taking and putting those lines in there. And then we're looking at positive negative space, which is what we've been doing to train yourself to draw what you see, not what you know. So I use the lines that I saw here compared to where the dark are. And then I started putting those into my drawing. So right now I'm in D3 and that's where it starts with my facial features. And you'll notice that my line is here. And I did find that I had to go back in on some of mine and darken my grid so it would show up easier. I was having trouble seeing, especially through the black where the sweater's at. I've been like messing it up, huh? Because you thought you had it right. All right, so I'm in D3. Here's my space for three. And you'll notice that the eye is almost at the bottom of that space here. And so I'm gonna start with that line that goes across here. Again, lightly is the key, because we want to be able to erase things. I'm gonna go ahead because these are connected and work into D4 with that space. I'm doing the lower of the eyelid first because you have two lines that you're working with. You'll notice I kind of keep my finger there. And while you can't see it, my eye and my pencil are moving together. And sometimes if you need to get in the habit of doing that, you can always have your finger move here with your image and then have it moving the same in your drawing. And then those are gonna connect. And you're gonna just continue this method throughout your drawing because it should come out to be the same. And then you're looking at your space. Again, your positive negative space is gonna be so important to making this fit where things go. Remember that your eyebrows are lines. There's a shadow here, so I'm gonna put in a light line for that. There's some lines here, and there's a value here. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay that value in because I'm gonna number it. Because I don't have a lot of darks and lights with my particular image, and that's gonna make it a little more challenging. So if I go from D3 to D4, and then over to D5, I have a shadow here for the bridge of the nose. Again, I'm just laying in a line because it's gonna be color. So if I wanted to, because the nose is your three-dimensional and I am adding my value there, I can just lay that shape in. If you wanna do a line and then come back and add that in later, it works the same. <clears throat> Remember that your eyes are an eye width apart and because you have a grid, it should match up anyway. And you'll notice that here, this comes down and touches this line here. So that means it's not gonna be straight across because the head is tilted. So that means the eye is also gonna be tilted. Hey, 
and you'll notice that it comes right in here. So I've already set that space up there and it almost seems like it's a little wide. So I'm gonna bring it back in just a little bit here. And then that'll move my eye back over just a little bit because that's part of the process of determining your space. You can't just assume that because you put it on there, it's right the first time. You have to keep checking your proportions and looking at it and checking to see. So if I go back up to four, I mean D5, and I look at my space here for the side of the forehead down to that line, then that's gonna move my eye a little bit more here because I've got a little more space there now. And then that's gonna bring this down where it needs to go here and then clean that up. And you're just gonna do this whole process as you go through your drawing box by box. You should not finish this in one class period. And then I have an E, E5, so you can see E5 here. Then I'm gonna come down here and that space is there. Now I happen to have an arm in mine, so that's gonna be part of this as well here as it comes over and forms the sleeve. And then it's gonna stop when I get to six because I'm not doing this section here. And then I had part of this line here. So if I go back to D6 and I'm following that over, then I'm gonna have some kind of line in there for the hair that I will then be able to do uh, some of my values that I'm gonna be picking to put on that. Now, if I go back here to D3, I have an iris that's on this side of the line, your um, color of your eyes, their circles, your iris, your pupils in the middle, and then your eyelashes are on the lower lash, and then Then I'll do the same thing here. So if I've done it right, it should look correct. And don't judge too much about whether or not, you know, hey, I did that wrong or that doesn't look right because sometimes it can look right and it or look incorrect, but it is correct. So that's just one of those things you have to work through as you're drawing and learning this, the method. This is gonna go all the way over here because of the tilt of the head. And that's the process. So I'm gonna come back in, I'm gonna lighten this up. Because remember, you're still drawing lightly because you have to cover this up with colored pencil. And you're gonna add highlights if you have little reflections in there and your eyelashes. And then you're gonna do your nose, which is going to end up being more of a space than, well, you're gonna start with, of course, lines and you'll notice that this is here and then that comes around and it comes over into E4 and it's in line. So this is, a here's the line there, but because of the three quarter view, the little tilt of the head, that's gonna push the nostril just a little bit more that way. And then up here and I've got a space there as it comes over to the line, to this part here, and then down into that space right there and then here. So again, it's just about looking at your spaces, looking at your lights and your darks as you work. And then I still have the mouth to do, some fingers and a little bit of the sweater over here.